Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. John White, Good day morning. two of yes. NAB. How's it been so far? It's been very busy, very exciting. Great to see so many customers. And, Fantastic. Uh, lots of announcements, so we're very exciting times. Very exciting. So tell me, where is Nortel positioned in the marketplace? Well, our company has been established 55 years ago. It's our 55th anniversary this year. And our company is established to be the largest AM and FM manufacturer in the world. And we started our company by establishing the architecture of modular AM, FM systems five decades ago. Wow, so lots of experience in that field. A lot of experience and a lot of customers in our family at this time. We're very thankful for that. That's fantastic. Now talk to me about the trends that are unfolding in the industry right now. Sure. One of the things we're seeing is a move from fixed box uh, type devices to more software implementations of features and, and capabilities. Um, and so that's something we're trying to help the industry move forward on and capitalize in the way that we approach our transmitter designs. And what are you showcasing here this year at NAB? Sure. We have our uh, GV2, which is our, an extension of our GV series of family, which is very successful with over uh, a thousand of those installed and some of the biggest broadcasters in the world. Um, and what we've done with that is we've created a platform for these software architectures. So years ago, if someone wanted to add HD radio to their transmitter, they would have to add external importers, exporters, an external audio processor. Now we can load all of that in as a software and we actually call that uh, Just Add Audio. It makes it so much easier for broadcasters. Um, and then that actually gives us all kinds of new capabilities to do new things. So one of the things we're showing here flashing behind us is um, once you create software-based air chains, we can do things like breaking into those air chains with emergency alerts. And that emergency alert can cover uh, the AM, uh, I'm sorry, the FM, HD1, HD2, HD3, um, all in one swoop. And the other thing it lets us do is something that we are announcing called uh, Just Add Audio, and that's the ability to just drop the software into the transmitter and have that all that uh, digital radio air chain functionality uh, incorporated very simply with just a software load. And one of the things that we accomplish in doing that is we're actually synchronizing the FM signal with the digital signal so that there's no more blend issues and switching back and forth between the audio and there's been a, a movement in the industry to make corrections for that we actually eliminate it that whole issue goes away impressive yes. now tell me john who is this for and what are the prospective use cases sure well any um, broadcaster that's thinking of moving to digital radio this gives them the capability to do that much more easier and there's another announcement that all this platform lets us do and we uh, just announced it yesterday and it's called the hd digital radio test drive and so we can't make the cost of a transmitter go away for someone that's looking at digital radio. What we can do is make it very easy for them now because it's software load. If they were to buy our GV2 transmitter, they can load the software in and for six months they can put it on the air and they can test it to see what impact that has on its customers, um, what impact it has on listening. Maybe it's uh, new revenue opportunities that can be tested. Uh, maybe it's new languages, new content that could be tested. All those things can be tested for, for six months and um, then the broadcaster can decide if that's for them or if they just want to revert back to standard FM. So that, that's something new, and um, that would probably appeal to broadcasters that maybe have an aging out uh, FM transmitter, and rather than just replace it with another analog transmitter, at least this gives them a path to consider maybe trying these things. On that note, John, what do you think the future holds for Nortel? Uh, well, the future for us, uh, as I said, it's our 55, uh, 55th anniversary, and the, um, we've used a tagline for that called Always For You, and it's partly because our company has always been built around the needs of our customer. We've actually shaped how our company works. We're very focused on customer support. Um, our, our customers, while they're, um, uh, maybe if they have issues, we have people around the clock that can take their issues for them. We always have live calling. We ha always have high parts inventories. These are the things that you may not see from other vendors in the market. 
and then uh, actually our customers over our five decades have actually shaped our, cust our company in the way we run our company. We run with very low debt to make sure that we're going to be around for decades because they need us to be around to take care of the equipment they purchase from us. Absolutely. Well, all very exciting. <laughs> thank you, and thank you for uh, taking time with us today. Yes, and have a great show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.